Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to automatically transfer data from Excel to PPT. So I have created this automation to create the new PPT using the different Excel sheets. So here we have multiple charts and tables in four different sheets. Now if I want to create the PPT using this data and the charts, I can simply click on this button create PPT. As I will click, it will create the PPT as per my predefined format. So here you can see it has put all the charts and tables. And it is fully automated. You can add new seat here. Let's say I'm adding a new seat. This is seat 1. Let's say I'm putting here test automation. And we can put here some data. So let me copy some data from here. So let's say I'm taking this sales by product. And let's paste this here okay let's go to the view and remove the grid lines from here and now if i will go to the settings sheet and i will click on create ppt so this time it will add a new slide the last slide which is test automation and it has copied this table all right and if you want to add some chart also let's go to this sheet and here select this table insert a chart Let's say I'm adding this chart, put this chart here and we have used the worksheet.userN so we have to make sure this chart should come in the userN and then we will put here some quotation signs so that macro will consider this cell as the last cell of the Excel. Now it will create the range from here. So this will be our used range. Okay, make sure our chart should come within this range. All right. Now, if I will come to the setting sheet, just click on create PPT. Here you can see it has taken the chart automatically. Let's close this. In every sheet, we have put that quotation sign. I will show you. So here you can see it is available on this cell I21. You can see here in the formula bar. Sales by product also we have the quotation sign here in this cell. This is M17 you can see here and similarly here also we have the quotation sign this cell and 19 and here also we have this one okay L18 all right friends so this quotation sign just to create the used range as per our requirement. Now I will show you the coding part also and I will explain you step by step how you can create this automation in your Excel BBA. So let's go to the developer tab, Visual Basic. This is the code which I have created. I'll tell you from the starting. So let me insert a new module. And here we will put serve Excel to PPT automation. All right. Now first of all we will add a reference of Microsoft PowerPoint so go to the references in the tool and scroll it down and just select the Microsoft PowerPoint 16.0 object library. If you are using some older version of the Microsoft PowerPoint then you might get some lower number in place of the 16.0. Just click on OK. Now we will take few variable team ppt app as new powerpoint application so it will create a new powerpoint application instant and it will assign to ppt app variable let's take some other variables dim ppt file as powerpoint dot presentations okay so this variable we are taking to create the new file and then I'm taking dim my slide as PowerPoint dot slide. All right, so we have taken three variables. Now I will add a new blank presentation file. So I'll use set ppt underscore file equal to ppt app dot presentations dot add. So it will add a new blank presentation okay now let me show you if i will run 
then here you can see it has created the new presentation one and it is blank okay so now we will start adding the slides before adding the slides we will take another variable for the worksheet name sh as worksheet and now we will use a loop because we have to create the multiple slides for our multiple worksheet so we have multiple worksheet here but we will not consider this setting sheet so let's go to the visual basic and put here for each sh in this workbook dot seats we will run this loop in all the worksheet of this workbook except setting seats so i'll use here if ss dot name is not equal to setting then and if and now first of all we will create the slide so i'll use here set my slide equal to ppt file dot slides dot add slide and we will add one slide at a time so let's add here one and custom layout so custom layout i'll show you what is custom layout so let's say this is a blank ppt if i will right click here and i'll go to the layout so these are the custom layouts from here you can select your layout so this is title slide on this is title and content section header and some others comparison title only blank okay so we will take title only because we will put the title and then we will put here content so title only slide is available on number six okay so one two three four five six let's close this and here we will put ppt file dot slide master dot custom layouts and number six okay and just close the bracket so we have put here add slide one and the custom layout ppt file dot slide master dot custom layouts number six ppt file is the new presentation file this one okay all right so we have added new slide now first what we will do once we add the slide we will put the title so i'll use here with my slide dot saves dot title and with and here i will put the text of the title okay so i'll put here dot text frame dot text range dot text equal to and i'll put here whatever seat name so i'll show you here we have the worksheet name proper worksheet name so whatever is the worksheet name that should reflect the slide title so i'll use here ss dot name okay let me quickly run this and let me show you if i will just click on run it has added multiple slides test automation sales by quarter sales by month product and sales by day now only thing is the first slide which is the test automation actually should be the last slide because it is the last seat here so what we will do here we will add one more thing as we are adding the slide we will move this slide to the last so i will use here my slide dot move to and we will put the count so i'll use here ppt file dot slide count slides dot count okay so it will move to that position let me close this if i will run now so here you can see first it is showing the sales by day and last will be test automation okay now let's format this like we can align this center we can put some background color whatever we want to put some font color let's say white font and we can change the height of this little bit and we can change the font also let's close this now we will put some other code let's take here text frame dot text range dot font dot color and here we will take the rgb color code okay 
so font color we will take the white color and background color we will take little dark color so i'll show you i have taken the rgb color code here you can see for the font i will take this is for the white and uh, i have taken this one also for the back color so let me copy this and i'll explain you step by step the next one we are filling the back color so dot fill back color dot rgb and here we have put the rgb color code you can put the rgb color code for any color whatever you want and then here we have put the dot text effect alignment we have taken the center aligned then the font name we have taken the arial rounded empty bold and the height of that title we have changed to 50. Now let me run and let me show you. So here you can see it has been formatted and it has been aligned center. Now the title is completed. We will copy the text and we'll paste here. This was for the title. Okay, so let me put here some comments. Format title and then here we will copy data and chart. Okay. Now from the worksheet, I'll use the use range and I will copy this range as picture. So I'll use copy picture space. The first thing we will take appearance as Excel screen, not printer, comma. Then the picture format we will take here Excel picture. Now we have copied it and we just need to paste it. So I'll paste it on the my slide. I'll use here my slide dot shapes dot paste. All right, let me show you if I will run this. Then here you can see it has pasted it properly everywhere. But the only thing is it is somewhere it is very small, somewhere it is not aligned properly, somewhere it is not looking good. Okay, so we will format this. So this is the shape number two. So I'll use here bid my slide dot shapes two. And with we will make sure the ratio of height and bid should not be changed. So I'll use here dot lock aspect ratio equal to true. Okay, then the next thing is I'll change the bid of that picture so i'll take dot bit equal to and i'll take whatever the bit of that slide minus 30 or 20 or 50 okay so that it can be adjusted properly so i'll use here dot bit and here i will take ppt underscore file which is our main presentation file dot base setup dot slide bit this one minus let's take here 30 now if I will run, so here you can see now the shapes are looking pretty much good but we have to move this little bit left. Okay. So let's change the height also. So first make sure the top should be 0 so that we can check if dot height of the shape is greater than of the slide height so i'll use here ppt file dot page setup dot slide height if the height of the shape or the picture is greater than slide height then so we will take dot height equal to and we will take whatever the slide height minus around 100 or 120 because the 50 height we have taken for the title so let's take around 120 here and similarly we will do for the width also so we will use a dot left equal to 0 and we will use if dot width is greater than ppt slide base setup dot slide width if the save width is greater than the slide width then we will use again this one okay because if we are changing the height here the width also might get changed again although we have used this code here but we are using this again here okay let me run this and let me show you what will happen all right so it is showing the correct one but we have to change the left and the top 
so we will use here dot left and the left we will take whatever space available we will divide it in the two parts so that it will be available in the center position and how we will get available space whatever the width of the slide minus the width of the shape okay divide it by 2 let's say slide width is 100 and the shape height is 80 so we will get the 20 and we will divide it by 2 so 20 means 10 on the left side 10 space on the right side okay and dot top so let's take the top around 100 because 50 we have given for the title let's run this so here you can see it is working perfectly all right friends now if i will even remove this chart from here from the test automation this should be aligned properly still okay so it is not coming here properly just because the use range error. we have put some quotation sign here somewhere so let's delete this okay now if i will run again it will take properly Go to the presentation too okay so it is in the center all right friends so friends that is how you can create this automation i hope you have enjoyed this video friends if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching